This week, the Independent Official Advisers on Climate Policy, the Climate Change Committee, said the government wasn't doing nearly enough to drive energy saving. 20% of our carbon emissions come from the building sector, and the vast majority of that comes from our homes. They are leaky, and putting that right nationally would cost many billions soon, but save many billions later. So, who exactly is going to do all this work? Tom Heat reports now from Stockport. This, quite obviously, is a loft, and it's at the sharp end of all the talk we've heard this week about energy saving. It's where heat vanishes through the roof. It's where your bills can also go. And the advisors to the government on climate change, well, frankly, they hit the roof, saying that the lack of policy over this was a shocking gap. Also with me in the loft is Mark Cox, who's busy laying some insulation. Uh, Mark, there seems to be insulation already here, so why more? It's not in a great condition, so we're currently topping up the insulation to 400 millimetres. Hopefully this will keep the heat in the house, the bills down, and provide a better environment. Well, can you give me a bit of a guided tour of some of the other things you're doing in here? We've installed triple glazing windows within the property, so it helps keep the heat in. We've put external wall insulation. I can't see that. <laughs> so, so, so the insulation is behind this rendered finish. You should save £200 a year on your energy bills. £200 a year? £200. Just from the external wall. Yeah, just from this rear external wall up to £200 a year. For the average UK homeowner, a deep retrofit like this could cost upwards of £20,000. The good news is your bills will drop rapidly. But in order to retrofit all the UK's ageing houses, we're going to need a huge skilled workforce that simply doesn't exist at the moment. I was doing joinery, plastering, plumbing, a little bit of everything. And they asked for me, actually, because I'm quite into eco stuff. <laughs> We're basically making the families pay less once they move in. If this actually works and they get everything done by the time scales like 2035 would be a massive help. In order to meet the government's net zero targets, the number of qualified retrofit builders needs to at least double over the next five years alone. Looks like the boss is here. There's an understanding that we have to decarbonise every single building. My question is, who is going to do that? We have a complete absence of skills that's been building up over 25 years within the construction industry. Aliens Company is training workers on the job. They're paid the living wage as they train, and they're all local. If you decided, OK, I'm really going to invest in this work in my home, the thing you'd want next is a person you can trust to deliver it. Those are the people we don't now have enough of. Training on site has stopped. Full apprentices have stopped for at least the last 20 years. A job placement is not fully trained. A short term college course is not fully trained. The training needs to happen in a house. So I've worked in housing since I was 19, my first ever job, and I've been here ever since. And I think the reason being, you actually make a difference to people's lives. John is leading Stockport Homes' retrofit revolution. They want to upgrade all 12,000 of their homes. If you look at the housing stock across this country, in 20, 30, 40 years' time, the housing stock that's here now will be there then. If we don't tackle it now, we'll never get to the targets which we need to achieve. For me, it is sexy because it's really vital that we do it now. It's a challenge, but it's a challenge that as a housing sector we're certainly up for.